Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson, your host. And today I want to dive into the topic of profit margins and how at the beginning or early stages of your business, you know, the first even handful of years, your profit margins might not look pretty. It might not be a big gap there for profit margins due to the fact that at the beginning of your journey, you're going to be investing in yourself. You're going to be investing in your business. You're going to be investing in your team to get yourself a foundation built that will last. And so we're going to dive into that and explain why you might be doing better than you thought. So we all hear these influencers, these people on social media talking about whatever gross profit or whatever they're making per year or month. Uh, but what are the real numbers there? You know, they, they say they're making, you know, millions per year, you know, six figures, whatever it is. But are they being truly honest on what that looks like? Are they just kind of putting on a show to make themselves sound better? You know, six figures is great and, and that should be your goal. But the profit margins don't really look that pretty. You know, I'm not living in a mansion and driving a Lamborghini, having a six figure agency. And that's because I invest back into myself and into the business and into the team. Because I, I, my goal is something much bigger much farther down the road than just a quick buck and to be a a quote unquote influencer. I could care less about that. So if you're truly wanting to build something, you've got to look at it through that perspective. Don't get blinded by the influencers out there who are pushing that you're, you should be, you know, making six figures and driving Lambos and things like that, because that's not how it should be. If you want to build something that lasts and is going to be a long-term thing, then you've got to look at it as profit margins aren't going to be pretty. They're not going to be these huge numbers because you're going to be taking what you can, what you need to survive off of. And then the rest is going to go back into yourself and into the business. And so your profit margin is not going to be huge. And I say invest in yourself because that's a crucial part of it. Whether that be into your health and your fitness, whether that be in your mindset, whether that be into a mentor or coach, whatever that might be that you need to invest into yourself to make sure you're one, you're staying healthy, one, you're staying focused and you're improving because you have to continue to improve for the business to improve. So that's why it's important to invest in yourself. And in investing in the business, whether that be tools, systems, equipment, whatever that looks like to improve the service, product, or thing that you're delivering to your client, those are, those are the important things that you have to do to get to the next level. And so, well, it's not about the equipment or the products, it's about the person. And I grew to an extent, but if you can invest into a 4k camera that takes 4k video versus something that doesn't even do HD, there's going to be a difference in quality. So it's a little bit about the equipment you choose as well. And then you invest in your team. So you get to the point where you can bring people on because when you can bring people on, you can get to that next level a lot faster. So you have to then invest into them, whether that be investing into their development, their learning, uh, providing them things, taking care of them the best you can. Those are all things you have to invest in as well. So that's why, you know, years and years into it, your profit margins might not be good. I mean, if you look at Jeff Bezos at Amazon, there's an early interview that he had talking about how his multi-million dollar company, Amazon, wasn't profitable. His profit margins were negative because of how it was structured and and what they had to invest in and and things of that nature. So even Jeff Bezos with Amazon early on when they were successful, their profit margins were very, very slim based on just how it, it grew and where the money went. So don't think your profit margins have to be 50, 60%. You can get to that But when you're building a foundation for your business that you can build off of to be successful long-term, the profit margins are going to be smaller because of the investments you're going to be putting back into yourself and into the business itself, uh, as well as your team. 
So these are all things you've got to think about as you're growing to not get discouraged if your profit margin is not that big. Like, man, Chris, what? You know, I'm do- I feel like I'm doing good. You know, I've got enough to live off of and invest in the business, but why don't I have bigger profit margins like these influencers are talking about? It's because they're probably not being really truthful with the numbers. So don't focus on them. Focus on your journey and building this foundation through investing in yourself and your business. I can't say that enough. You've got to put back into the business, into your team, into yourself to continue to that next level. And profit margins will start slowly growing as you get to those next levels to the point where your profit margins might still be small, but those percentages will be dramatically different then than they are now starting out where you'll be making way more than what you are now with still lower profit margin. So you just got to, you got to know your numbers, know where things are going and be able to invest for the future by building a strong foundation. So profit margin might not always be pretty, especially when you're starting out or when you're scaling, because you can get to that next level and you can be Gavin, okay, we got great profit margin. You know, we're at 40, 50% profit margins doing fantastic, but you're kind of at that plateau of, of things going on. And you can stay there and that's fine. And you can just ride that out. But if you have bigger aspirations to grow something and build something bigger, build another business, things of that nature, and you have to then start investing back into the business, investing back into a team or your team. So you'll have great profit, mar- profit margins, but then when you scale to that next level, Those profit margins are going to decrease some because of the investments you're going to have to put to get to that even next level. So it's all about kind of the flow of it and and understanding what you want and where you want your business to go, which is what's going to dictate those profit margins. So that's all I wanted to hit on today. So when you're looking at your numbers, if you get discouraged, just focus on what you're doing and keep growing and don't get, you know, distracted by all the quote unquote gurus or influencers out there who are just kind of throwing numbers out there that aren't always truthful or the whole picture um, and, you know, continue to, to build your, build your brand and build your legacy until next time, go out there, continue to elevate your brand, elevate your life. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening to the elevate media podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.